Well, you know, regardless of our exit strategy, so this, this Burr strategy incorporates, well, it's really not an exit strategy. It's a hold strategy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so right. Regardless of whether you're flipping, holding, selling on rent to own, whatever, doesn't matter. Yep. Doesn't matter if you're a wholesaler. Right. You got to find the deal. Right. You got you got to find the discounted property. So I want to hang out on this a little bit, particularly sure. in the market that we're in now. So Carol Joy, my wife and I, we've been at this game now full time since 2003. And since 2003, you got to find the deals, mm -hmm. right? So as you mentioned, when we started out, what worked really well a couple of years ago, doesn't work so well, right? Today. Yeah. Um, I mean, in this market, I mean, I've never totally relied on the multiple listing service, but you know, we just wouldn't be doing any deals at all yeah. if I was relying on the multiple listings. I don't, to tell yeah. you the truth, uh, Corey, I don't know when I bought a house out of the multiple <laughs> listing service. I, I, I just can't remember when. And yeah. I do two to, I do two yeah. to three a month with average profits of $67,000, but they're not coming out of the no. multiple listing service. So I want to talk to you. You're doing, you're doing a lot of deals yeah, yeah. in this uh, challenging market where when I say market, I don't mean where I live. I mean the whole nation. Yeah, right? of course not. There's, there's no inventory in the multiple listing service. Mm -hmm. My guess is you are finding your deals off market. In other words, they're not listed in the multiple right. listing service. What are your favorite and best methods today that's working right now that's giving you consistent lead flow to find, yeah. to find these deals? Well, I will say this, Jay, and this is probably um, not going to be a cheat, I, you know, I don't want to give a tip that's not achievable for the majority of the audience because they're probably not at this point yet, but we actually just started TV a couple months ago doing TV ads in our local market. And that is just dominating right now. I mean, there's, it's just crazy. It totally outweighs all of our other lead sources right now, probably by three times the amount of leads that we are getting in other sources. The other source though, that's been like the old bread and butter and it's boring and it's like some people dog it and they call it old school but it's just direct mail and it's consistent direct mail. And I see that happen a lot of times people dog direct mail, but it's not consistent. They're not consistently sending out direct mail. They're doing it and then they do it for a couple months. And if they don't get some deals, they give up on it. And direct mail takes time for it to work is what we've seen over the years. And so those two sources have been really good. Texting is another really, really good source. However, by the time this podcast drops, um, you know, who knows where the regulations are going to be on that. It's getting really muddy waters as far as, you know, what kind of language you have to put in your tax and it's getting a little more diluted, a lot more people doing it, but it's going to become a, I think a legal issue on texting. So our, our time frame to be able to hit these texts is probably very limited on when that window for marketing is, is going to be open. Uh, but I would say right now our two best is, is the old fashioned, not sexy bread and butter direct mail. Um, and then TV is just crushing. Yeah. Well, and for your TV to work, um, my guess is you're probably going to need to be in a decent size market versus my size market, which is only 40,000 people. <laughs> yeah. And surprisingly, Green Bay is only 100,000 people. I mean, it's not a lot of people, but we have a couple other tertiary markets around Green Bay as well that are about 100,000 and stuff like that. So we hit all of those, you know, little smaller cities, I guess, along that same area. Um, and so it's been, it's been really good, really interesting. We're getting some in like outlier kind of like, you know, cities of like 3000 people where, eh, I don't know if we, you know, you almost have to give us the house to, to make it a deal. Uh, but that's where some of the best deals come from. Right. When we don't actually want them. We're like, right. Oh.